First thing that you want to recognize is your basic formula of how to uh, analyze the tangent graph. So this A value, what that does is it stretches the graph or compresses the graph. What the H does, it's a phase shift. It shifts the graph left and right. But this has the opposite effect. So if you have like x minus pi, the negative pi is actually going to be going to the right, positive pi. If this is plus pi, it's actually going to be going to the left, negative pi. And then the K is a vertical shift, so that's going to shift it up and down. So if this was plus 1, it would shift it up 1, minus 1 would shift it down 1. And then what this B value does is it affects the horizontal stretch or compress, basically affecting the period. And we can use this formula right here, period equals pi divided by B. Now when we graph tangent, we look at these key values from negative pi over 2 to positive pi over 2, so on our unit circle. And remember, tangent is the Y value divided by the X value, Y divided by X, and so on. So over here at a negative pi over 2, when you do y divided by x, negative 1 divided by 0 is undefined because you can't divide by 0. So what that means is we get a vertical asymptote right there at negative pi over 2. At negative pi over 4, y divided by x gives us negative 1. So at negative pi over 4, we're down here at negative 1. At 0, we get y divided by x. 0 divided by 1 is 0, so I'm going to put a point at 0. At pi over 4, y divided by x gives us 1. And then at pi over 2, 1 divided by 0 is undefined. So you go ahead and draw another vertical asymptote in. So if we sketch our basic parent graph for tangent, that's what it looks like. And then what happens is it repeats, okay, like that, going both directions. So this is just one period, one cycle. Okay, so you're with me so far? So now if we want to graph this more challenging graph, what we can do here is let's go ahead and figure out the period first. So the period is equal to pi divided by b, which in this case is 1 fourth. Now remember, when you divide by a fraction, it's like multiplying by the reciprocal, so that's going to make this period 4 pi. So what I like to do is I like to draw my graph, okay, and I like to look at the period, and I like to divide it up into quarters, into fourths. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to count by uh, 4 pi divided by 4, which is pi. So 1 pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, and so on. And I'm just going to go here to the left, negative pi, negative 2 pi, negative 3 pi, and so on. Now notice the x minus pi. This is actually going to shift the graph right pi. The plus 1 is going to shift it up 1. So what I'm going to do from the origin, I'm going to shift right pi up 1. I'm going to think of this as my new origin or my new starting point. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm just going to draw in like a little dashed or dotted line. You can draw this really light on your paper, okay, like this. But we're just going to use this as a reference point or as a starting point. Now what we're going to do is we're going to focus in on what's left here, okay, the parent function. And you see the negative value? What that does is it makes all the positive y values negative, all the negative ones positive. So it reflects it over the x-axis. So what we're going to do now because we know the period is 4 pi, and remember how we talked about half the graphs to the right of the y-axis, half to the left? If you take 4 pi and cut it in half, that's 2 pi. So if I go right 2 pi from here, that's going to be where our vertical asymptote is right there. If we go 2 pi to the left, that's where our other vertical asymptote is, okay, like so. And then what we can do now is normally the graph would go up to the right, but because it's reflecting, it's going to go down to the right. So by going right 1, I'm going to go down 2, and so that's going to be one of our key points here. And then if I go left 1, I'm going to go up 2. And so, and then if we go right here, 0, 0. So basically what we're going to do here, that's one period. That's one cycle of our graph. So that's an easier way to work with it is think about, you know, shifting that origin, that starting point. Also calculate your period by doing pi divided by b. Then take that scale, okay, and divide this period into four pieces and then make that your scale. And then what you can do from here, calculate where your asymptotes are. Half's going to be to the right of that point, half's to the left. And then you can, you know, sketch your other points from there. So if you want, I'll have links to other videos I did talking about how to graph tangents, some of the more basic ones. This was a more challenging example. If this helped you, you know, subscribe to the channel, give it a like, a thumbs up, and I look forward to helping you in the future math videos. I'll talk to you soon.